Alright, so I'm making this quick little tutorial to show you guys my combo effect. So it's just three effects. It's a pump, a shake, and some levels. So I have the sync already prepared right here. It's nothing special. I'm going to show you guys the sync before I add in the effects to show you how much of a difference this actually makes. Alright, so that's the sync. So we're going to start off by going to new adjustment layer if I go right here into my effects in presets tab I have my own presets which some of them are on sale if you go to my store I'll put the link in the description all right so this is my pump basically um it's a transform effect with some twitch um if you want to copy the values here for the first two middle right in the middle and over there last one those are the values what I also like to do is, let's go to enable on the Twitch, go to light. Um, sometimes I put blur, but I haven't been using that lately. So just click on light, go to op, uh, operator controls, light over here, and then just put it, I don't know, I put usually put 89 or 90. So putting on the light, what that means basically is just, it's gonna have a little, I guess, light <laughs> right when it gets to the highest point. Um, so if you take that off, Obviously, it's not the biggest difference, but I do like doing it. So this is how the actual pump looks like in the graph editor. It is on value, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, value. Um, you know, here's the graph if you guys want to copy it too. And now what you also want to do is you always want to enable on the pump, you want to enable that blur. But look how much more blur it gets when you do enable it. Look on that. You also make sure want to make sure that this is blue too to actually activate that effect. So if this is not on, then that won't work. So you always make sure that they're both on. Alright, so since the pump is done, now on to the second effect. I'm going to duplicate this layer. Oh, I'm going to duplicate this layer. Stretch it all the way over here. Delete the transform and the twitch. And I already have it open right here. I have my level preset. So if you go do that. Um, you can copy my settings, like I said, right here. Um, this is just a basic, like, I guess a light effect, you say. So it gets off brighter and then it dims down to its normal color. So that's pretty much it for that effect. So now I'm going to duplicate this and get my shake. Alright, so I have my shake in here already. Um, let me just show you guys, I guess, the values for my shakes and how it is. Um, here are the numbers. Go to the, I guess, one, two three three yeah this was made on a different it's frame rate so three or four um frames ahead i would say three and push that there and those are the values for that and go off a little farther i'm not going to count it and then obviously put the amplitude to zero that's pretty much it make sure you have motion blur on them too um that's pretty much it um there's nothing else really to do and so now what I'm going to do now is just duplicate it for the rest of the beat drops. Just that. That over here. That. Yeah, that's. Literally, that's it. Like, it makes such a huge difference. It looks good. Um, depending on what the song you use, too. Maybe you want to add a little. RGB split on the Twitch, you know, uh, there, you, know, you add the little colors, pretty much it. But yeah, other than that, it's really basic, but really effective in my opinion. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks like right now. So that's it. That's how it looks like. It's really, really good in my opinion. Um, you know, you could always change the shake if you don't like it. Put your own shake preset if you have. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I gave you guys the pumps. Gave you guys the levels and my shake. Basically, the effects and values to that. So, yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that, that quick tutorial on my effect combo, combo effect, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah. If you do want to see more tutorials, please, please, please like the video. Subscribe. And if you want to tell me any suggestions on what kind of tutorials you guys want, either comment or go to my Instagram and DM me. I'm always opening my DMs. That's pretty much it, guys.